A lot of talk in recent days that the White House is considering restarting some sort of new policy regarding family separation. At the end of that press availability with Egyptian President El Sisi, in the chaos of the White House staff trying to shoo the press out of the Oval Office, the president addressed that and said he's not going to do that. Listen here. We're not looking to do that now. We're not looking to do that now. Thank you very much. But it does make, it brings a lot more people to the border. When you don't do it, it brings a lot more people to the border. We are not looking to do it. But President Obama had the law. We changed the law. Now, the president there saying that President Obama f separated families. He stopped it, although the zero tolerance policy did reinitiate it. But the president said not looking to do it. What they were considering is, is the so-called binary choice, uh, which was agreed to in a joint court filing by the Department of Justice and the ACLU last July. It would give uh, parents who were being detained the choice of whether or not to have their child stay with them in detention or at the end of 20 days voluntarily separate from their child and allow their child to go stay with either a relative in the United States or a licensed uh, program in the U.S., but it would have, and this is the court filing right here, it would have given parents the choice of doing that. Now, in terms of DHS, uh, when Kirsten Nielsen leaves at the close of business uh, tomorrow, there's going to be a lot more people who are on the way out the door with her because she clearly has got her own staff policy and communications. They will likely leave. Uh, Democrats, meantime, challenging the appointment of the man on the right you see there, Kevin McAleenan, saying in a letter uh, from the uh, Homeland Security Chairman Benny Thompson to President Trump that the law does not allow McAleenan to step into that job. Benny Thompson writing, the law of succession at the department is clear. The undersecretary for management shall serve as the acting secretary if the secretary and deputy secretary are unavailable. The current undersecretary for management is Claire Grady, who's also serving as the acting deputy secretary. So it's pretty clear that she is going to have to be removed from her position position in an order for McAleenan to take over. Of course, all of the political appointees serve at the pleasure of the president. They know what they're getting into and they take these jobs. Grady, by the way, has held a number of positions across government in the Department of Defense and the Coast Guard. She received a presidential rank award in 2010. So I assume that she will have no problem finding another job. Another big change at DHS, the U.S. Secret Service Director Randolph Tex Alice is leaving at the end of April. He will be replaced by the man on the right, James Murray, who is the, currently the head of protective operations. Uh, U.S. Secret Service staff, I'm told, were shocked to hear that Alice is leaving. He came over from Customs and Border Protection a couple of years ago. Murray's been with the service for 23 years. Alice was seen as something of an outsider, which is what the president was looking for when he appointed him. Uh, Murray is uh, really a person who's risen through the ranks of, uh, of the Secret Service. And rumors of a lot more changes as well. Stephen Miller, the president's chief domestic policy advisor, who was given full authority over immigration policy last week, wants to restructure management throughout DHS to take a tougher stance on immigration. Reports uh, that the head of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, Lee Francis Cisna, may be next to go, along with his policy deputy, possibly the chief counsel, Senator Charles Grassley of Iowa, warning the White House uh, not to make any more changes at DHS. Listen here. I'm concentrating on those two, uh, trying to save a good intellectual basis for his uh, immigration policy. Talking there again about the head of uh, the United States uh, Customs and uh, sorry, Citizenship and Immigration Service, as well as the policy deputy. Uh, Grassley said that the president really is, by making all of these changes, pulling the rug out from underneath the feet of the people who are trying to support him. Harris? Well, I'm just real quickly curious to know what the White House says from the criticism that comes uh, at this point that you're maybe looking at some open positions that are pretty far up the food chain. What is the response? Yeah, you know, I think the president uh, is doing what he thinks is best uh, for the nation. And I'm sure that he appreciates the difference of opinion, uh, whether it be within the White House or in Congress. Uh, but the president's going to do what the president wants to do. You should know that by now, Harris. And the right to do it as well is what we know. John Roberts, thank you very much.